Section 2b, it says, use trapezoidal sum with three subintervals to approximate the value of the integral of v of p, v p t of dt. And so we're basically going to find the area underneath this curve. So this represents our velocity function, and the area under the curve will be the trapezoidal sum we're looking for. So we're going to use this interval here. Okay, and then we're going to use this next interval here, so the trapezoid, actually I'm just going to leave it like that, and this interval here, from here to here. Okay, so to calculate the first interval, we're just going to take the area of that triangle. So that's the total area, so we'll write this out as the value of the integral from 0 to 2.8 of v of p t dt that's going to be equal to the area here which is 55 times the interval with the 0.3 divided by 2 plus the next interval is going to be from the it'll be a trapezoid so 55 so I'm going to use the trapezoid formula here. So 55 plus negative 29. We're going to divide that by 2 and multiply that by the interval width. And this next interval has a width of 1.4. And then the third interval is going to be negative 29 plus 55 divided by 2. And this interval width is going to be from 1.7 to 2.8. So it's going to be interval width of 1.1. Okay, so when we add this all up, we're going to end up with 8.25 plus, we end up with positive 18.2. Although some of it's below and some of it's above, the net change is going to be positive 18.2. Same with the next interval, part of it's below and part of it's above. So we end up with 14.3 as a net change adding those up we get 40.75 meters as the area under that curve